people of Reddit. What was the most NSFW event you ever stumbled upon in high school? I was a dildo peddler for a while at school. Girls who wanted sex toys, but didn't want to buy them themselves. Or cold. Would pay me the cost and a bit extra for me to get it for them simply because I had no shame as a 17 year old. Went to a Christian boarding school. You'd be surprised the amount of fingers and vaginas during chapel. My high school had to bang blankets after two freshmen were caught, having sex under one in the middle of the art hallway. I walked into a bathroom after a fight. Broken mirror. Blood smeared on the wall and floor. Water everywhere. Probably unrelated to the fight. And a lot of bloody tissues in the sink. Oh. And there was a turd in the urinal. I hope that was unrelated to the fight. The dudes from the class, where I was from, before I changed classes, started doing group masturbating sessions in the locker room before or after pet. That crap smelled like rotten oysters after. The next class was always ducked, because of the smell. A freshman got jerked off by his girlfriend under the table in the cafeteria. During lunch, someone sitting near them noticed was happening. Took a video. And posted it online. The administration quickly found out. The video was taken down. And all three involved were suspended. I ran cross country in high school. Sometimes during practice we would run through trails in the woods surrounding the high school. One day right after school ended we started running down the trails. And stumbled upon two students having sex. Judging by their reactions I don't think they were expecting a group of 15 guys to run by. While they were getting it on. High school bus hit a deer. Police were called. Deer was shot three times in front of the bus to put it down. Watched it from the parking lot while skipping school. We had to go outside for a physics experiment. But on the way from the classroom to the field. There was a bloody trail. Because a girl had just been stabbed in the bathroom and run to the nurse. She'd moved to the country less than a month prior. Gotten mixed up with some shady people. And a 14 year old hid in the bathroom stall before jumping out and trying to stab her in the face. She put her arms up and only had superficial injuries. But she never came back. Poor girl had PTSD last time I checked. 8th grade sex ed. Teacher showed us a video of a woman giving birth. Very close shots. Very graphic. Very disturbing to most 8th graders. Weird kid in the class tucks his arms into his shirt and starts jerking off to the fully dilated vagina being shown on the 200 inch projector screen. I'm very sure some guy will make a video about this post with a robotic voice. We had a girl who would sit in the back of the bus and seem to always have a different dude sit next to her. It turns out she was giving guys hand jobs for a small price. Had a guy run through the school completely naked. High school by the way. Even ran up and slapped some teachers ass. Haven't heard of him since, but they was like 5 years ago. The seniors in the photography class got caught banging in the dark room. Used condom left wrapped around the tap on the sink in the boys toilets. A week later it was still there. A month later there was another one next to it. In 8th grade we went on a class trip to Hershey Park. Two girls gave a guy a blowjob on the bus, right home next to a sleeping chaperone. They eventually got caught and that's why there are now no code buses in the district. This was also in 2002. Legend has it that a guy in my sophomore or junior year used to sit next to his GF and get hand jobs during English class. Me and three others found a sex dungeon underneath the auditorium in the back storage room. The girl who ran it was a junior who ducked a good portion of the football team there. There was a bucket filled quarterway with used condoms. Fun day. A sophomore at my school gave a freshman a donut filled with cum. He got criminal charges edit. I have no idea what the charges were. I do know that he got fired from his job and expelled. I don't know much else besides the sophomore was dating the freshman's friend also. I have never seen Van Wilder or any of the other movies people are suggesting. One guy flashing his stick at the teacher and also one dude was caught in the bathroom giving a blowjob. We had two people ducking under the band bus in the mud at a contest. We always threw house parties at my friend's house. 
One day I went to grab my jacket from one of the rooms, and I heard some moaning and groaning, so I thought it was just a couple hooking up. I flipped the lights on BC I couldn't find my jacket, and saw that three of the track girls were, but naked finger banging and eating each other out, instead of just standing there, and watching or trying to participate. My nerdy high school self said hi, waved, and said have fun, as I walked out giving them privacy. Later on that year, I ended up dating one of the girls, and would always try to mention it, and maybe try to get a threesome going. Never happened though. She said it was just a drunk moment. No one thought it would be a bad idea for the cross country team, to have thin white uniforms, until we had a race in a thunderstorm. So many flashbacks of penises swaying with each stride. Not really NSFW. Just my most vivid HS memory. It was the biggest poop I'd ever seen. Just one huge log. To my memory the size of the toilet bowl. It definitely didn't fit down the hole, and had to be removed by a janitor. Everyone told their friends about it, and one by one we all went, and checked it out. Also no toilet paper in the bowl. All that was there was the one big fat legendary turd. It physically hurts me to think about how it came out of a butthole. Edit. I would just like to add that I'm touched and humbled by all of your poo related stories in this time of division and opposition. Let us all remember we are united by poo. I went to a small party at my friend's house. My girlfriend and I got there late. We went in and noticed nobody was in the living room. Weird. They said they'd be here. Start walking to the back and I could hear several voices in the bedroom. I just opened the door and there were 7 of my friends just having a casual orgy. Friend of mine got with our art teacher. Who was an ex-stripper. Not me specifically. But 2 kids in my catholic high school ducked in the bathroom and someone caught them and videotaped it. They posted it online. Our school made the news and now they measure girls skirts if they look too high. As well as banning phones. This was junior high, but one kid who we suspected was gay gave another kid who we did not suspect was gay a blowjob in the bathroom stall. And for what? A hollow foil cleffery Pokemon card. In middle school the health teach went to show a video on the projector and I guess he had porn on his video player. He offered everyone A's to keep quiet. He was fired then went to work for a catholic school. Went to teacher's room to get some papers that my Portuguese teacher had forgotten and stumbled at my German biology teachers kissing each other really hard over the meeting table. I mean, they didn't even notice me and though, it was a Catholic shul, and they were both married BTW. My face when I returned to class without the papers must have been priceless edit. I'm usually more of a lurker myself here so wasn't expecting this amount of attention. Hahaha <laughs> thanks for all folks. Hope you've liked it carrot carrot. A girl. Freshman. Went viral on snapchat because the guy she was giving head to recorded her and said it was terrible during the recording. She's now dating and cheating on the guy we called cherry picker. I'm a teacher who teaches in a high school. First day on the job, had two kids beat in cheeks in the back of one of my shop cars. Should specify I'm an automotive teacher. Pretty NSFW if you ask me. I go to Catholic school, and besides a teacher pedophilia scandal every year, I'm not kidding. The kid that played the porn hub intro on the drums, that is spreading around the internet happened at my school. Okay two stories one NSFW, but still messed up. Janitor in elementary school died, while mopping the floor and somehow this didn't get around the entire school and my entire class saw them taking his covered up body out the front door. Another is walking in on several people giving BJS in the band room. It became a daily thing and I should have known to also knock on the practice room doors before entering. Girl gave a blowjob to a guy and his friends filmed it. It was the talk of the school and she changed schools. Two years later she came back and sucked a different guy's stick by the same dumpster. No one filmed it this time. Was walking around outside my high school and saw a dude leaning up against a wall getting a blowjob. They didn't see me, so I quietly turned around and walked away. Some kid at a party got blackout wasted and shat himself. In the middle of the crowd he took his pants down and slipped in it. Proceeded to army crawl. 
to try and make it out but just smeared it everywhere. He is still known as the party pooper. In band before a football game. I walk into the percussion room to hang with the homies. Everyone is huddled around this dude in the corner of the room laughing. So of course I walk over to check it out. Turns out the dude was showing everyone how tiny his stick is and everyone was so fascinated. So, yeah it was really really small. Like from the tip of your pinky to the first knuckle down. I've never seen anything like it lol. Edit. I know it called a micro penis. Mfeo. In middle school some kids walked in and started having sex in the stall next to me while I was pooping. Eventually they smelled my presence. A creepy 45 year old teacher was caught watching porn twice by the same girl and both times it was a braves fetish and a school girl thing and the girl that caught him wore skirts and had braces. No he was never fired or even talked to after going to the board and yes this is public school. What kind of schools do y'all go till mayo? Not me. But a few freshmen encountered sophomores having sex on a hill my school had for cross country and I think football. And then someone marked that hill on Google Maps. People snorting crushed up pills in the bathroom right off of the sink. This was in the early 2000s. Middle school boy in the shower fully tucked doing a dance. Strange days the 80s. I heard my parents having sex during math class. I'm home shoulds. What happens in the locker room should stay in the locker room. With that said. I once walked in on a kid shoving a crucifix up his ass on a dare from his friends. A guy and a girl got caught doing anal in the hallways in a neighboring school. Drugs. Lights stay on at homecoming because people will have sex on the bleachers. No blankets for obvious reasons. On every field trip someone gets fingered on the bus. Teachers have learned not to look into cars before school. I live in the Midwest though, so there's not much else to do. Edit for the punctuation. I'm normally a grandma Nazi but I'm using mobile on a new phone and it seemed like it was punctuated right at the time I posted it. The janitor didn't cordon off the area when someone spilled a large half gallon of milk. One student ran into cafeteria, slipped and busted his butt. The janitor was suspended for one day. Sex education. Nothing really ever happened at my school. A student masturbated in front of the ducking teacher. A lesbian orgy in the girls bathroom edit. For the person asking my friend told me about it. In secondary school. A boy brought in a live chicken and snapped its neck. A bunch of guys from the athletics class got mad at a kid from mine for cheating during dodgeball. So they walked into the locker room ducking naked and whipped him with towels. I just walk in and see someone's done flopping around like a corrupted body part in a PS1 game before he leaps off the bench and goes up a crap on the guy. I nope the duck out and waited in the hallway with everyone else. Before anyone asks why didn't I or anyone else help. The coaches were nowhere to be found, and we were scrawny freshmen against football, and wrestling players in good shape. The guy eventually comes out drenched in sweat, calls us assholes, then kicked one of our backpacks. This was in the 90s. Two people were caught, having sex behind the curtain on the gym stage by the master of custodial arts, or janitor. If you want to be a stick about it. He said hi to both and walked out. Dave was cool. A junior boy filmed two sophomore girls having sex and, of course, he made copies and passed them around. One copy landed in the dean's hands and she called both girls and their parents in, and Duckheim watched it. There were definitely girls snorting coke in the bathrooms. Teachers choking out and punching kids. Yeah, no. The usual. Apparently a senior last year got a blow job in the cafeteria during lunch. Then afterwards stood up in front of everybody stick hanging out and yelled i'm the king of the world and then two girls were found having sex in the cafeteria during lunch this is nsfw in a different way than most of the stories here but when i was in high school i liked to go to the balcony of our theater to take naps during my free periods it was dark quiet and usually empty which made it such an ideal spot for napping One day I walk up the stairs and see a girl from the grade below me 
that I sort of knew cutting herself with scissors. She freaked out and ran away. I eventually caught up with her, and we had an intense conversation. We became friends after that day and I encouraged her to start seeing a therapist, which helped her a lot. Unfortunately, we lost touch when her parents moved to a different state and sent her to some boarding school. A guy hanging from the theater rafters by one arm. Freshman year. I needed to go take a piss and I just hear loud clicking and smacking noises in the stall next to me. An hour later I found a dude was having a girl suck him. Worst part was said girl was dating a different guy. I don't think they're dating anymore. Not really NSFW, but when I was in elementary school I was getting my little sister's homework because she went home sick and I walked into her teacher's classroom. She was sitting there with my gym teacher all jiggly. They ended up getting married, having a family, and the gym teacher is now the principal of the high school. He's a great guy. I told him about that day I walked into the lad class, and he had a big laugh. I've been out of school since 2013 but him, and I still keep in touch. Edit. The gym teacher was in the classroom with my sister's teacher not my sister. The two teachers are now married. Please don't call the FBI. At high school homecoming we formed a mosh pit blocking view from faculty, and a couple was having sex in the center. This is probably more NSFL. One morning during recess the neighbor, whose property was only separated from the school field by a little wire fence, small town New Zealand, came out and started sharpening his axe. He then called the kids over and cut the heads of his three puppies off in front of us. This was in primary slash elementary school, 